Welcome back. And by now, you should be getting used to using Python, but let's still go through it. So how do I start it? I go to my terminal. I type Jupyter Notebook. And see, I've tried to make the fonts bigger for you. And for me, it comes up in Chrome. And here it is. But before we begin, I try to um, make sure I save in a good place. So I'm doing all my work in documents, work teaching. I have a Python folder. I'm trying to keep organized, fall 18. And then I have my screen flow videos. And now once I'm here, I can now do a new Python 3 and up comes my notebook. So the first thing I do is I save it. I give it a nice title. I'm gonna call this, this and plot. Here I'm gonna put an underscore to make it look nice. Rename. Then right then the next thing I do is I change to markdown so I can give it a title. You know, I'll make it nice and big with one, this and arrays and plotting. And I'll put my name, I'll make that a little bit smaller. Oh, and I misspelled it, let's put that X in there. I'm gonna put a space to get it to work. And there we go. And the first thing you do is you have to import your libraries. But before that, we're going to turn on this matplotlib inline. This is, a, this is a command that puts the plots inside the notebook. And we're going to import different libraries. And what a library is, it's a bunch of functions that, you, that gets turned on. This way they're not always turned on to sort of save memory. So you always import numpy, n-u-m-p-y as M N P. That's the normal nomenclature. But see, if you think you'd missed a typo, you could run it. Looks good. Now I can go back and I can add another line. I can import matplotlib. This is how we're going to plot dot pi plot as plt. And so we're using numpy and matplotlib. And we're going to be moving towards pandas to do all of our work. So first, let's just make ourselves a new list. Right? And a list is sort of like a row or a column in Excel. And I'm going to start by making numbers. Right? I made it. It went into memory, and now if I type new list, right, it's going to fit. If you tab, see how I get to fill in, and it prints it. You could also print it. Tab fills in, and it prints it for you. But now if you want to just plot one of the one members, so you could do new list of, of one, right? And that's the, and what? It came out as five, but this is Python. It starts all this numbering at zero. So zero is the first one. So you always start with the zeroth element. So it's zero, one, two, three is how it goes, right? The third one would be 100. And now the nice thing here is if you want to choose more than one, you could do one to the end. Oh wait, exactly, made my mistake, zero to the end to get all of them, right? You could do zero to three, and that would get zero, one, two, and it skips the third, it ends before the last one. And you can actually go Reverse also, you can do it in the reverse way. But you can also set items in new lists. So you can say, say you want to set the, we can reset the first item. All right, we can just, it doesn't have to be a number because this is just a list. So we did something and now we can see how it looks. Tab, fill in and write it, put it in. But let's put that back to a number. I'm gonna put it back to 88. And see how I can jump up and jump around and run things out of order. And there it goes. But the thing is, plain lists in Python don't really help you that much. They don't have much um, power or oomph. That's how come you use NumPy. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go and make a NumPy array. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to call this a number array. This is how it gives you. And to make it, you go np.array. You do um, parentheses, brackets. Now you put in your numbers. And I'm going to put some in. They can be decimals. And then, right, and we'll, I, put a, I put a bunch in, I run it, and there it is. And now we can see how it looks. It's a number array. And so it's very easy. And again, with this one, you can look at different elements. And you can reset different elements. So it is, it's very easy to work through. And now what, what we're going to go and we're going to start working is how you can make plots. And it's the nice thing about Python, it's easy to make good looking plots. So you do fig comma axe. And I'm going to go through more, but figure gives you page properties, axe gives you sort of the axes properties. Then you turn on a, you go plt, turning on matplotlib dot 
subplots, it sort of turns on the figure for you. And then one thing you can do axe.plot, and we can just put in our number array. And up it comes, and you have our nice array. I'll show you how to make them prettier. And the nice thing is, say we want to, say we want to um, change it. So say, let's look at item number three. It's 0 0.3, but oh, but imagine it was a different number. Say it's, it's now actually equals minus 30. So I just reset it. We can now come back. We'll remake our plot. And look, it replotted it for us. So we have a lot to learn and a lot to go through in class, but hopefully this gets you going. Remember that we really want to use, when you start going towards numbers, we're going to use NumPy. And then from NumPy, we're going to work towards pandas.